Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF 1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 2 and this stupid race has to happen again. I don't want to do it, but I don't have a choice at this point. I still feel really, really bad, but I figured, you know, I've got just enough energy to do one of these and this race is really pissing me off, so I really want to get it done and out of the way, so I'll have to do it again. Even though, even though, I, if I do finish it here, I still have to do it one more time anyway, so I kind of, you know, kind of lock myself up in in uh, one of those things. But, you know, I may be sick, but I'm not going to let that dictate my life. I'm going to grab it by the, well, not by the balls, because I don't know if life really has balls or not. But you'll grab it by something. I mean, everything's got something you can grab onto, even if it doesn't. Figuratively. So, yeah, we're just going to, we're going to move today. My, my coughing is really what's getting me. That's that's where the main problem is. It, it's not really anything else. Like my sinus is kind of bothering me, but it's just like every time I cough, it all just like it feels like feels like it reminds me of that episode of uh, Beavis and Butthead, where um, I'm trying to remember. If, I think it was Beavis. I think that he got a nosebleed, and so he shoved two tampons up his nose. I think that's. I think it was him. I don't. I'm pretty sure. And. Um, yeah, so that's exactly what I feel like. I feel like somebody just crammed a couple of tampons up in my face, and now every time I cough, it feels like if I do it one more time, that like the top of my skull, it's gonna end up being like uh, like uh, the the old the old dude from Saw uh, in the fourth one, I think, where they have to like do the brain surgery and cut the big hole in his head so that there's not as much pressure there. That's what I feel like. I feel like if I cough one more time that uh, my head is just going to be, it's going to like fly off, it's just going, the, the top of my head is just going to literally just jettison off of my body and probably up into the ceiling and make a hole in there where, you know, that's just what that's going to be. So that's, <coughs> that's how I feel. I, I feel like a drug junkie too because I, I found like this, uh, this old bottle of Robitussin DM in my medicine cabinet that barely had anything in it whatsoever. But me being me, being as desperate for for uh, relief as I am, I was like, oh my god! And so I, oh boy, so I grabbed it and I literally like just flipped it upside down, trying to get every drop that I could out of that. I even like took it over to the sink and like put a little bit of water in it just to try to get the rest of the little remnants out of there. And I was like, man, I, I have a serious problem right now. And that serious problem is I have to stop freaking coughing. I really don't want to have to miss work again, but. If this keeps up, it's just gonna happen. I'm gonna end up, and I hate, I hate missing work. I may, I may, you know, have plenty of days where I bitch about work and everything, but I, there's, if there's one thing I hate more than most things, is I hate missing work. It just, oh, it drives me crazy. So, it'll be like the third day in this course of a week of me missing work, and I just don't want to do that. I feel bad enough that, you know, we're understaffed. And then to have to do that, amongst other things, just really, uh, really not doing it for me. Alright, so, here we are, in the same position, again. I'm just preparing for another second place finish, again. I'm just waiting for it. I know it's, I know it's a-coming. I just know it. I can just see it on the horizon right now. Alright, here we go. I just don't think we've got it in us, man. I just, I don't. I just don't feel it. Nope. Just not gonna happen. We just, we can't win this race. I don't know what it is. We just can't win it. No matter what I do, we just, we always lose it by like the same margin every time. That's like the third time that we've lost by that amount. Just barely enough. <sighs> and there's not really like anything that I can do to this car that's gonna make it any different. I just, you know, it's freaking stupid. It always comes down to that same last turn and there's just not enough in the car. And it's not like we're like that far off. I mean we had this car has like three hundred and you know, something or other horsepower. It's not it's not like it's a huge differential. It's just enough to where it's a problem. I mean, let's let's think about this here. 
Well, let's see, we're at 321. I mean, it's it's not like this big, big deal. I mean, it's enough to where it's pissing me off, but I mean, the the cutoff is like 345. So I mean, it shouldn't it shouldn't be. We've done this a million times where you know we've been sitting on um we've been sitting on like 50 or 60 horsepower under the under the thing, and we end up blowing everybody out. But now all of a sudden. Just because we're in, you know, British land, now they're gonna be like, ooh, and it's on Trial Mountain too. It, it could have been almost any other race, and I wouldn't have minded it as much. Like it could have been Rome Circuit, which I hate that one too, or it could have been Laguna Seca, which I don't really care for that one much either. And it could have been like at least 30 times less annoying than it having to be here of all places. There's just something about this track in general that just I can't do it. Especially with cars that aren't really fast. I mean, these aren't, I mean, for having 320 something or other horsepower, this, it just seems so slow. Like, I feel like that, uh, that Plymouth PT Spider that we have that only has like 240 horsepower, it seems like it's like light years faster than this for some reason. Maybe it's just because it's more sporty looking. Like, this car is like the most generic, like, four door sedan that every, like, family has in the world. It's just what it, it just gives off that vibe for some reason. It's like, oh, good old Mr. and Mrs. Smith with their three kids, one of which is in a freaking car seat. That's what they own. They own an Audi S4. I mean, I'm not saying that I wouldn't want one. If somebody showed up in my driveway saying, hey, we got you one of these, I'd be like, sick. Yes, I will take that with interest. That will be my car. I would love to have one of those, even though I'm getting my mom's Lexus when she decides to get a new car, so I think that I'll take that over even one of these. I think that'll be fine, even though it's got like 80,000 miles on it. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, just the status symbol of having a Lexus is awesome, so I'm be like, hey, I have a Lexus and I'm ballin', so there you go. Anything more than driving a 93 Honda Accord that's slowly starting to fall apart. I mean, the, the car is almost of legal age to drink at this point. That's that's what it boils down to. Okay, here we go. Just get through that turn. There you go. I think it's just because I'm not used to driving four-wheel drive cars. Maybe that's what the problem is. I mean, for the most part, I've been driving things that are just like super edgy and they're flying all over the place. And then I get a car that truly has good handling. I don't even know what to do with it. Even though this one, it's kind of sliding all over the place. So even though I'm sitting here talking it up for having this great, spectacular, amazing V handling, I just, uh, you know, it's not really cutting it for me. I mean, we are where we are right now, but that doesn't mean anything. I am not going to put any stock in that, because we have been there before. See, that turn sucked, and now they're right on my freaking keister again. They're right up in my tailpipe. Unless I fart on them and make them go away, then it's not going to do me any good. No, don't you dare. No, no. Crap, this is bad. We'll have to cut them off at the pass. <laughs> Come on, baby. Don't you dare mess with me right now. You stupid TVR chimera. Or maybe a Griffith 500, I don't know what the hell it is, because the darkness of the purple is messing with me. Come on, yeah! Yeah, we are the victor! Yeah! Unfortunately, that only means minimal victory because of the fact that we have to do it again. But I don't care, I'm, I'm happy that after doing it four times, we finally won. So, suck on that. Put that in your pipe. Inhale the smoke and then blow it out your balls. Just do that, because that's not even possible, but it is today because I said so. And the Karate Kid is on. Of which I, for some reason, well, no, I can kind of see it, I guess. I had a bunch of people a few years ago, and it's mainly like when I have longer hair than this. I've had a lot of people tell me that I look like Ralph Macchio from the Karate Kid. Not even kidding. Like, I even had somebody, like, just randomly... I went to a bar and I just went and sat down at the at the counter and the the girl that was sitting right next to me just totally out of nowhere hey hey you kind of look like Ralph Macchio and I was like um all right well 
seconds. I was like, that's definitely not the first time that I've heard that. So, uh, yeah. But thanks, you know, it's all fine and dandy that you think that. I mean, that's cool. It's nice to know that I have, like, some type of celebrity resemblance. Even I don't know if I would really consider Ralph Macchio to be a celebrity anymore, because... Be honest. What did he really do after after those <laughs> after those movie series? I don't really really remember him doing anything. But yeah, so I've had that before. And then uh, also like with me and my shorter like buzzed hair, since I kind of look more like kind of a little more Hispanic looking. I definitely in this I totally I totally took offense to this because that's just not even it's not even cool. I had some other girl tell me that I totally looked like Pitbull, and I was like you. He's like, do you realize how much of a diss that is that you just gave to my to my psyche just now? You just called me Pitbull. That sucks. He's not even good. I mean, he's not a bad looking guy. I'm not gonna sit here and say that, you know, I you know, that it looks ugly, because I kinda looked at it and like there are certain parts of me that kinda look like that. I mean if I if I wore like a you know, like a white button up collared shirt with like the with like the top two buttons undone with a pair of, you know, aviator glasses with my hair shaved down to a, like a one, then, hey, I'm sure I'd probably look a lot like him, and if I, you know, started throwing in my, you know, Miami 305, Dale! and doing all the weird stuff that he does in, all, in every single one of his songs, then, uh, who knows, maybe I would have that type of resemblance, but, uh, I don't know, I took offense to that, because I was like, you know... I don't really, I mean, I don't really think that I do, and, uh, how dare you tell me that, even though I just got done going through every reason why I totally could look like him, but, you just don't ever want to be called that, that'd be like, that'd be like, you know, having somebody telling you that you bear a striking resemblance to the dude from LMFAO, which, that, that would be like the ultimate diss, really, it really would be, or like Justin Bieber, or... Miley Cyrus or Amanda Bynes now? Not not Amanda Bynes then. Amanda Bynes, like, back then, man, she was hot. And actually, I went to school with Amanda Bynes' cousin. Yep, there we go. My brush with greatness right there. That's, uh, that's totally 100% true. You heard it here. This is your uh, TMZ official right here. I went, to, I went to high school with Amanda Bynes' cousin. So uh, that was that. Never actually saw Amanda Bynes in person, though. She came to visit, like, one time, but it wasn't, like, at my school, it was somewhere else. And, uh, that's when I kind of made the connection. I was like, hold on a second. I was like, how the hell do you... Like, how the hell are you just, like, meeting up with her at total random like that? She's like, oh, we're cousins. I was like, dude! Tied. Awesome. Because back then, that's when she was still cool and not, like, a raging drug addict that has completely lost her mind. Cue up another like Nickelodeon slash, you know, Disney child star that's gone completely insane, i.e. Lindsay Lohan. Gosh, people blowing me up on Facebook right now, all over the place. Come on, Mr. Audi, with your, you know, cat pee blonde paint job that I totally picked on purpose because it was, like, super yellow, even though I definitely, I took it on the grounds of it being an Oregon Ducks color, because it is. They've definitely done that super bright, yellow stormtroopers thing before even though I know someone would be like stormtroopers what the hell are you talking about like, well I know the stormtroopers were never yellow ever I just don't I know that I know that but the Oregon Ducks have a jersey scheme called the stormtroopers where they have all white and they've got like a certain way they construct jerseys and they did the same thing with that but they made the whoa jeez just about killed himself out there at least we won by the way silently silent but deadly we actually went out and we won that on the first try, even. Even better. Even more gooderish that we did that. So that one's out of the way now. yippee ki Mother Trucker. Mother Trucker. Like, better yet, how many people's moms are truckers? Because that sentence wouldn't make any sense otherwise. But what else is new? Half the crap that circulates the internet anyways doesn't even make sense. So, whatever. Oh, man. I feel like poop. So I think that after I upload this and everything I'm probably going to lay in bed I've got a box of, of nerds from uh, when I went and saw the purge last night which was awesome by the way I do advise you going to see it just just heed my word just just do it you know 
I'm not right on everything, but I thought it was cool. I thought it was a good movie. I can definitely see where other people would have a problem with it, but I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was actually a really a really interesting perspective of what that type of like government concept would be like with the whole like 12 hour windows of just legal whatever the hell you want to do. That would be interesting. However, this movie also shows exactly why that would never work. That's all that's all I'm going to say. That's that's not a spoiler at all because the I mean the freaking previews told you that much, but that's uh, that's pretty much the end of that. Ooh, what is this? Oh, and that's the car we bought for the last thing. I was like, what the hell is this? Xantia. This, this is how delirious I am at this point. So, when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo 2, we have Italian Nationals, and then we have German Nationals. So with Italian Nationals, I saw, you know, you guys saw me kind of going in here already. I don't think that I have any Italian cars. I know that. Fine, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna play by those rules, huh? I don't think I have any Italian cars. I just I'm just being honest here. Do I or do I not? Hmm. So which one of these little bastards is gonna be? Well, this one is. Lancia is, but I don't have any of those. Fiat, I don't have any of those. Peugeot, that's that's definitely. If that's even how you say it, I don't even know if it is. Venturi is French. That's great. Alfa Romeo is say. Hey, okay, well, we might be able to do something with this. These these are these are easy to work with, kind of sorta. Because I definitely don't have any of those. So, well, what about uh? Okay, that's French. We just bought one of those, and then one of these. That's French too. Okay. Well, we'll go through all that crap next time because I'm just out of gas. I just, I really am. My tank has hit the E, and uh, that means that I am done for the night. <laughs> so uh, we won though, so that was that was cool. But uh, on the next installment, we're gonna have fun. Hopefully, I'll not be sick. But obviously, I've proven that wrong numerous times already. Because if it keeps up like this, I'm not going to work tomorrow, and I may not even go to work Tuesday. It'll just bring it full circle of a week of me sucking at everything. So, uh, yeah, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Ralph Macchio saying bye.